Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week's project, if you couldn't tell by the object in my hand and my shirt, I'm going to be making a softball bat. If you've known me for longer than five minutes, you know that I am completely obsessed with softball. Those of you that don't know me, welcome to my crazy. Since I'm not very confident with my spindle work, I figured what better way than to practice on a 26 inch long spindle. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> Here I am just mapping out the length that I want the softball bat to be, leaving a little bit of room on either side of the blank so that I can part it off at the end. In this scene, I am marking out where the different slopes start on the softball bat that I'm using for reference. This way I can mark those reference points on the blank so that I have a way of knowing where to start the curves. During the process of making this bat, I realized that I was lacking two fundamental items. Number one was a longer tool rest, and number two was a steady rest. Because if you've ever tried to turn anything longer than your fingertip, you know how hard it is to keep things steady when they're this long. I did end up rectifying the steady rest situation later in the video, as you'll see but I still have yet to get a longer tool rest. We'll see. Here I am trying my hand with the old skew chisel. It's probably my most dreaded tool that I use. I know that it gives the best cuts. I just don't have enough experience with it yet to feel comfortable with it. So I switch back to the spindle roughing gouge every chance that I get, because I'm way more comfortable with that. Oh my gosh, you guys, roughing this bat out was the bane of my existence and might still be. I think I have PTSD from this thing. <laughs> it seemed like it took 1400 hours to rough this out. Slow and steady wins the race. Just still plugging away at it. Here I'm working on the first taper from the barrel to the handle, and it's about here that I realize I really, really, really <laughs> need the steady rest. I couldn't get a straight cut to save my soul because it just wanted to flop out of balance. Here I am just double checking the taper once again, just to make sure I'm still on point. And then one day, about three weeks later, 
The UPS man brought me a special surprise. My brand new Carter products. Steady rest. I cannot tell you how much frustration was happening before I got this steady rest. I was ready to throw the softball bat through the garage door window. And once again, if you've ever met me, it's quite a shock that it didn't happen. I have a little bit of what the kids call ginger rage. Yeah, you can't tell it by my videos, but I am a ginger and I'm proud of it. We're a little bit feisty. Here I am just using the parting tool and some calipers to get it down to the diameter right before the knob of the bat. As you can see here, I'm just making a, a little bit wider of a, a groove so that I can fit the spindle roughing gouge down by the knob without it catching. And I'm just continuing to take wood off of the handle of the bat. And now I'm just making some finishing cuts on the barrel of the bat. and then some finishing cuts on the taper from the barrel to the handle. And here I'm just doing the finishing cuts on the handle. And then I noticed a couple of spots just needed some fine tuning, so that's what I'm doing here. And then for a touch of sanding, I cut it pretty short for the video. And then some denatured alcohol to get rid of the dust. And then the old sanding sealer. And then I'm going to finish it up with some Doctor's Wood Shop Walnut Finishing Oil. Here I'm putting the steady rest back on so that I can part the bat off from the blank. Using the skew chisel and then a spindle gouge to finish the knob. There you have it, my almost finished softball bat. There was a couple of places that needed a little bit more fine sanding off camera. Thank you to my subscribers. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stay awesome everyone. Love to all.